is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, and self destruction come upon them as they travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash, the Lord Hunters, to the elders, apostles, the Lord Hillstone, Christian world, truthfully and sincerity, and shout out to the high king, scattered the four hands of the crew, Christian world, truthfully and sincerity, and shout out to the high king, that we like unto the speckled bird, Christian world, truthfully and sincerity, and I say Shabbat Shalom to the high king out there. And this is another news update. In the news on July the 20th, 2022, at 7.09 p.m. Central Standard Time, on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. And as you've seen, I brought out the first Thessalonians 5 and 3. For one nation, say peace and safety, so this question come upon them. And this is a news article in reference to them. I mean, the scripture in reference to that. And this is a news article from RT.com. It was published on July 20th, 2022. Alternative news around the world. And the highlight of the news article for in the news for today on this July 20th, 2022, on this Wednesday from RT.com. And it reads, China calls for immediately ceasefire in Ukraine. All parties to the conflict should sit down and calm down and resume talks. Beijing ambassador to the U.S. has said China calls for immediate ceasefire in Ukraine and resumes of talks between all the parties involved in the conflict, including the U.S. and NATO China ambassador to the U.S. Queen Jing said on Wednesday. Speaking to the Aspen Security Forum in Colorado, Quinn said that the ongoing conflict in Ukraine was spilling over and causing multiple crises, including the economic downturn, influx of migrants, and energy and food shortages. So what China is calling for is immediate ceasefire resumption of peace talks. All the parties involved should be engaged, including between Russia, the United States, and NATO allies. The ambassador said, I don't know, I don't know how that's going to happen. That's not going to happen because you got current tensions between the United States and Russia. The United States and its allies with Ukraine and Western countries keep on supplying the Ukraine with military equipment, funding them with more military weaponry, and then you got the cooperation between Iran and Russia, <laughs> you know, so this is not going to happen, not anytime soon, not at the moment, <laughs> you know, they might have some type of dialogue later on down the road, but right now at the moment, right now it's it's in the time of war, you know, and the representation of uh, Queen, what's his name, Queen, Queen Jen, you know, he got to realize that, you know, and I'm going to bring out that scripture, you know, for everything that is time and season and this is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to everything there is a season and a time and every purpose under the heaven Verse 2, a time to be born, and a time to die, and a time to plant, and a time to pluck up, and a time which is planted. Uh, verse 3, 
Ecclesiastes 3 and 3, a time to kill and a time to heal and a time to break down and a time to build up. Ecclesiastes 3 and 4, and a time of weep and a time of laugh and a time of war and a time of dance. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 5, and a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together and a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Ecclesiastes 3 and 6 and verse 6 in the book of Ecclesiastes and the Holy Scriptures and the Weeds. And a time and a time to get and a time to lose and a time to keep and a time to cast away. And he's about to get to that part, uh, the important parts. Ecclesiastes 3 and 7. And a time to win and a time to sow and a time to keep silent and a time to speak. Right, because we are we are in the time of speaking of uh, prophecies, because war is currently going on at the moment. You know, you see these uh, uh, wars of the people, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdoms. Second world was passed, third world coming quickly. You know, these uh, famines, pestilence, earthquakes, diverse places. You know, class divisions. You know, the cost of everything is going up. You know, famines, pestilence, diseases, all these different type of things. That's why it's the time to speak of uh, prophecies and call in the Holy Scriptures. And that's what you see in the name of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh, Yahweh, out there speaking of these things, you know. Next verse. And this gets to the point right here. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 8. And a time and a time to love, and a time to hate, and a time of war, and a time of peace. Right, because we in a time of war. We are in a time of speaking prophecies. In verse 7, in the book of Ecclesiastes 3, verse 7. And this right here, the uh, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 8. You know, we are in a time of hate, and we in a time of war. It's not no everybody just getting along at the moment we all one melting pot we don't know we're not in that time right now you know we are in a time of seriousness you know we are in a time of war and we're in a time of hate and as this right here you know you know uh, the chinese ambassador talking about uh calling for immediate ceasefire you know that's not going to happen right now at the moment later on down the road it might happen but as i brought out ecclesiastics 3 verse 8 you know we are in a time of hate and we are in a time of war like i mentioned before with the iranian cooperation teaming up with russia potentially assisting them with more weaponry more financial assistance as the alliances grow stronger more than ever you know and then you have i just did a video not too long ago about the united states representation you know the defense military was saying that you know if i ran join russia especially with the current tensions going on with the russian ukraine thing and he said that's going to be a very very bad idea so him saying so the ambassador of china saying calling for immediate ceasefire that's not going to happen because as i brought out the scripture ecclesiastes 3 verse 8 you know we are in a time of hate we are in a time of war you see that these little do he little do he realize you got wars going on in the Middle East, you know. You got wars going on in Yemen, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, you know, the Syrian border, and the Israel border, clash conflicts. You know, you got tensions going on in Iraq, up wars of the people. You know, up wars of the people. You seeing what's going on over there in Germany. You see what's going on over there in Cuba. You seeing what's going on over there in the Netherlands. You see what recently happened over there in Uberstein, where Cuba uh, about two or three weeks ago. 
you know, they was in an uprising. Uh, a lot of people had to have, you know. So I let you know we are in a time of war and a time of hate. So, you know, you know, China calling for a, an immediate ceasefire, especially with the current situation with the Russia Ukraine thing. Little do he know, he's seeing the increasing their military airstrikes over there in different parts of Ukraine. You know, still continuing to this day, the uh, ex continuing increase of a uh, in increase of a uh, heavy fighting, increasing uh, heavy shellings to the. Uh, heavy shelling bombings potentially might kill more civilians even though a lot of them had evacuated from uh, Ukraine and they was living their lives in different parts of uh, Eastern Europe I believe so you know we're not in that time of uh, peace you know as I brought up 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3 for, I mean uh, 1 Timothy's 5 and 3 I believe for which roughly paraphrase for what's that when they say shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction come upon them and then the then the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 8 first 3 first uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 7 you know we are in a time of speaking of biblical prophecies you know the man of the Lord the man of Yahweh Hashem al is speaking prophecies and all the way into the uh Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 8, you know, we are in a time of hate, in a time of war, and that's what the current times that we are living in, as you've seen the increase of the love of many shall wax and coal even more than ever, these great tribulations are increasing on the planet Earth, you know, so it's not going to be no it's not going to be no love, 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 and peace, 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 not anytime soon. Because right now we are living in a time of war. You know, wars and rumors of wars are increasing now more than ever. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdoms, increasing now more than ever. In the last days, it's going to furthermore increase. So with the current Russia-Ukraine situation because Russia looking at it at, look at it as an operation is potentially way more than that you know because that goes to show you that as China calling for an immediate ceasefire but little do they know you know we are in a time of war in a time of hate and that's what we're living in currently right now at this point you know and it's going to increase more and more and more. But, you know, you're going to have your times where they have a little peace and safety type, you know. Then it's going to increase back to in a time of hate, in a time of war tactic mode. And that's what we're currently in right now as I bring out Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. As far as a time of war and a time of hate. And that's what we're currently living in right now, you know. So it's going to increase more and more and more. So with that, I hope this is edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Yahshem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukhah Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincere. And shout out to the Akya, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincere. And shout out to Aki, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching word truthfully and sincerely. That be like unto the speckled bird, preaching word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shabbat Shalom and all the ball.